Let's talk quickly about right and left end behavior models. Uh, the examples we looked at in class, the end behavior was the same whether or not you were approaching infinity or negative infinity. So here is an example of that. You have some function like this, and if we want to know what's its behavior off to the right, we'll look at the limit as x approaches infinity. Um, you can apply the limit laws that we talked about in class to split this into several pieces. Um, this inner piece here, uh, you can use the sandwich theorem if you want. So the overall limit as x approaches infinity of that part should approach zero. So we've got 10 times zero plus the two on the outside should give us two. Uh, and that will be true also if we take the limit as x approaches negative infinity as well. You can verify that's true using Desmos. Here's what our function looks like. And as you can see, it seems like there's a horizontal asymptote there at y equals two. The idea of a left and right end behavior model is that some functions have different end behavior depending on whether or not you're going left or right. So let's look at one of those. If we've got e to the negative x plus, which looks like this, plus sine x. All right, we'll zoom out. Actually, let's give ourselves two functions that it's made of. So if I zoom out, as you can see, the left end behavior of this function behaves a lot like e to the negative x. There you go, they match very closely. Whereas off to the right, e to the negative x is approaching zero, whereas our original function is just oscillating. So we would say that e to the negative x is a great left end behavior model because it models the end behavior as x approaches negative infinity. All right, well, what about the right end behavior? It seems like just sine x very closely matches the right end behavior of our function because limit as x approaches infinity, they're very close to being the same. So that's the intuitive idea. All you gotta do is think about the two different directions and figure out which term in the original series is the dominating term. The only idea about a model is that you're going to come up with another function that's a simplified function. It's simpler because it has fewer terms. Um, that's going to mimic the left or the right end behavior of your original function.